welcome back to my channel my name is Selena and today I'm going to be recreating Jenny's outfit that she wore to the airport on her way to one of Blackpink's concert I'm gonna put the date and the pictures over here and yeah that's it let's get into it all right so the first thing I did was cut out my pattern pieces that I got offline I should have just traced the shirt that I had, but I kind of wanted to see how to sew the shirt because I haven't sewed in a long time. Anyways, first I tried to shorten the shirt pattern. I should not have done this because it made the shirt too short to tuck in. You will see in the clips of the done garment. I was on the right path of trying to make the pattern smaller because it is a bit loose on me. But I think if it was longer, I wouldn't have noticed as much when I wore the shirt tucked. If you guys would like to download this shirt pattern, I'll leave the link in the description down below. The, down below. This shirt is to, supposed to be a small, but it's a bit medium to large size on me. I had four pattern pieces, which were the shirt front, which were the shirt front, the shirt back, the sleeve, and the neck binding. For some reason, I lost footage of me cutting out the fabric pieces. The shirt fabric was in a tube shape. I should have known since it's literally in the name of the fabric, tubular knit fabric. To know where I got the fabric, you can check out this video that I will link top right or left corner of on this video. Somewhere up there. Anyways, both the front and back pieces were cut on the fold. Of the fabric and also the neck binding only the sleeve was cut away from the fold because I needed two pieces all right so I'm missing a lot of footage but after cutting out the pieces I first attached attached the front and back pattern to each other by the shoulder actually scratch that before I attached the shoulders I searched all my pattern pieces except for the neck binding and the neck neck parts of the front and back then afterwards I attached the sleeves I was a little confused at first when I was pinning the sleeves because I was pinning them to the wrong side but since the fabric has no wrong or right side it was hard to figure out but I finally got it after stitching on the sleeves I stitched the side under the armpit and one of my and one of my sleeves was a bit larger than the shirt sleeve hole so I just folded in, folded it in place and continued sewing. Next thing I did was the neck binding, <laughs> which this part was a hot mess. So the first step was to fold the binding in half, connecting the two V's and sewing half an inch around the V, then cutting, cutting in the middle of the V close to the stitch line, but don't touch the stitches. Then I cut off the excess fabric, then pressed the seam open. Okay, so I opened it and then pressed. No, I pressed the seam that I just sewed, the V seam. I pressed that open and then folded it in half, connecting one triangular side to the other and pressed the folding down. I think you'll understand better by watching the video. I don't know. Next, I attached the neck binding to the neck and let me tell you, this was a struggle because I should have just followed the instructions from the shirt pattern that I got but I, w I was so confused um, reading it because she doesn't have a video it was like pictures so I was confused so I searched up the video and the lady in the video did it a completely different way than from the way that the the pattern the person I got the pattern from did so that confused me so much so I kind of messed up there. Next time I do a V-neck shirt, I'm just going to follow with the pattern from the uh, t-shirt pattern, the that one, because that was much better. Alright guys, I'm almost done my shirt. I just have to hem the bottom and the sleeves but like I kind of messed up when I was making um, the neck binding because I wanted 
to be more centered here but i don't know if i'm gonna change it i feel too lazy and also i was thinking i was thinking of maybe taking in the shirt more because it's pretty loose fitted but i'll see after i'm done and i make the skirt and i try it on to see if i need to take it in more but yeah that's it honestly i don't know what i'm gonna do with this i don't want to fix it i'm too lazy Okay, so I just did my top stitching and this is not straight so I'm gonna have to go in and take it out and then make it straight but I don't feel like doing that right now so I'm moving on to the skirt. Anyways, two days later I did the skirt. The skirt was pretty easy for me. I finished that in like two hours. So for the skirt, I decided to go with the knit fabric from Fabric Fabric. If you want to know more about the fabrics that I used, um, you could check out the video above. I talk about where I got the fabric and um, everything. Also, I washed all my fabric before using it. All right, so I took the measurement from my waist, divided it by 3.14 and subtracted half an inch so i wanted my skirt to be tight so i thought making it 25 inches will do but it being stretchy i think it's more than 25 inches it probably went to my like regular waist length but it's still a bit loose because it's a stretchy knit fabric i don't understand my measurements to be honest like if i pull the skirt down more it's a bit tight around there but when it's at the waist part that I measured for it to sit at, it's like loose. But anyways, um, I folded my fabric in half following the fabric stretch, making sure the folded edge angle was 90 degrees, then marked out my waist measurement. I'll link the video I got the directions from down below in case I'm confusing. So if you want to make a circle skirt, I made a half circle skirt, so if you want to make one yourself, I'll link the video down below, because she has better explanation than I do. Um, for the waist length, I me measured down 16 inches at first, but I got scared and chickened out, so I made it 18 inches, because I didn't want my skirt to be too short. I do have a little little more booty than Jenny does so I couldn't make it too short but yeah cuz like I'm not trying to have like the back be like all open and shit so yeah I made the skirt 18 inches long because I was gonna uh, fold it um, hem it one inch away but I think I end like half an inch <laughs> Because I messed up with the neck binding at the beginning, top stitching the neck binding was a hot ass mess for me. Like, oh my god, it was trash. Like, y'all see it? It's all bendy and shit. Like, I went over it like 10 times. Like, I literally took it out and, and took out the stitches and did it. We did it three times, but it was still like look like it's not straight because the way I did the neck binding I didn't sew it properly I didn't sew it straight enough but like who 
I'm just gonna go with it like I don't want to fix it because I noticed every time I seam ripped it I will get like little holes and I don't want to ruin the fabric so I'm just gonna leave it like that and if you're close enough to see that my top stitching is a mess you are way too close in this pandemic time we're all social distancing why are you that close to me sir like please stay six feet away thank you very much but yeah For the waistband, it was 25 inches by 4 inches and cut on a fold, so it's, a, it's 25 divided by 2 plus half inch seam allowance. My whole project was sewn on an inch on a, on half an inch seam allowance. After cutting out my belt, I searched the sides and bottoms of my skirt, then went to my sewing machine and sewed on the waistband and then closed up the side seam. Then I hand stitched an invisible stitch along the bottom of the skirt to hem it and I was done. Yo, let me tell you something. Hand sewing, hand stitching takes forever, but it's worth it because you don't see the seam on the other side. So I kind of like it, but damn. Anyway, so this is my first finished project and I hope you guys enjoy first finished project here are here's me wearing the outfit yeah um i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please give me a thumbs up and share if you like also to see more videos like this one please subscribe to my channel and while you're here check out some of my other videos thanks so much for watching bye